Hey everyone, Marcus from Topic Tech Gaming here today. We are covering the Cloister of Trials at Xanarkin Ruins. It's the last Cloister of Trials of the game. It's also a difficult one because it contains two boss battles right after finishing it. The puzzles in this Cloister of Trials revolve around stepping on floor switches to cause shapes to light up on the floor. There are two rooms, a smaller one and a much larger one. The rooms contain a screen with the requested floor shapes for the current puzzle. I've made maps with the solutions highlighted on the floor. My advice is to take your time with moving, as if you accidentally step on the wrong floor switch, you will have to start over. With each puzzle, I will darken out the unneeded floor switches. Just refer to the solution key in this video and move carefully. After completing the first room, six pedestals pop out of the wall. Each side, the middle pedestal, will not be used until the end of the cloister. However, the other four pedestals represent each of the puzzles that we're going to do. So I'm going to start with the northeast pedestal. Push it into the wall, and this will activate the first puzzle. I refer to this as the northeast puzzle. The screen will light up with the shapes that it's requesting for this puzzle. So let's move into the hallway, into the second room. As mentioned before, this room is much larger. Just take your time and follow the key. Now let's push the northwest pedestal into the wall. And now on to the southwest pedestal.
And now the Southeast puzzle. After completing the last puzzle, move to the back wall and grab the Kilika Sphere from the left slot. Take it back to the first room and insert it into one of the middle pedestals. Now return to the second room and take the Besaid Sphere from the right slot on the back wall. Now return back to the first room and insert the Besaid Sphere into the last remaining pedestal. Congratulations, you've finished part one of this Cloister of Trials. A save sphere will appear and I highly recommend using it as two of the hardest bosses you will face await you. If you are under leveled, don't be afraid to step outside of the temple and level up in the ruins. I won't be covering the boss battles, so you will have to refer elsewhere for tactics and information. Warning: Possible spoilers. The next part of the video may contain a slight spoiler, nothing major to the characters and story, but a minor plot device. The Cloister of Trials Hidden Treasure requires you to come back after you've obtained the airship. Once you're able to take control of the airship, go to List, and then down to Xanarkin Ruins. Here we go! Once landed, head south of the Save Sphere and you will find a teleport pad. When you step on it, you're given options. So make sure that the hand on the teleport pad is facing up and left. You will arrive outside the dome. Without leaving the teleport pad, simply turn around and face the dome. This will teleport you inside the dome's corridor.
Now, all you have to do is head back to the first room and grab the destruction sphere from the back wall. Take the destruction sphere from room 1 and bring it back to room 2, inserting it into the right slot on the back wall. And that is it, you've completed the game's final Cloister of Trials and you can move on to other tasks. If you've enjoyed my completionist videos, be sure to check out my upcoming review on Final Fantasy X HD for the PlayStation 4, which will also cover comparisons to the PS3 HD remaster and the PS Vita version as well. This has been Marcus with Topic Tech Gaming, thanks for watching.